Hi everyone, my name's Ian from Flex Physiotherapy. I'm here today to talk about scapular elevation taping, which is a technique we find quite effective for patients with um, nerve-related pain down the arm. Um, if you, if there are some tests that physios can do to, um, to examine and to find out if, um, if, if nerve irritation is the main cause of pain down the arm. It might be shoulder pain, it might be outer arm pain, could be around the elbow and forearm region might be mistaken for tennis elbow. Sometimes it's down more into the thumb and the wrist region um, where it might be mistaken for arthritis or de Quer veins. Um, and I'm mostly describing here the radial nerve as the, um, the primary cause of pain. Um, so Tom here is um, one of our physios and has volunteered to be the patient for today. Um, now, in order to do this taping technique, I need access to the, to the shoulder from you know, mid-arm all the way through to um, basically the, the shoulder blade, scapular region. Um, I'm sure Tom won't mind taking his shirt off, so if you're happy to do that, Tom. Um, if you are needing to get access to someone's shoulder um, and they're not, it's not appropriate for them to take their shirt right off, then make sure you've got a towel that you can wrap around um, because you, you will need bra straps off the shoulder as well. What else do I need? I've got some, some any sort of K-tape would be good. It can be rock tape, can be um, non-brand um, K-tape, but it definitely needs to be um, a, a kinesia tape of some kind where it's elastic um, for the sort of technique that we're using here. There are some cases where you might want to use a rigid sports tape um, for, um, for shoulder taping, but I find that this is often really, really effective with quite light elastic taping. Um, so to start with, I've just cut three um, strips about the same length. Uh, we don't have to be too precise about that. And I'm just rounding off the corners. If it's going to start peeling off, that's usually where it starts first is those corners. So let's get rid of those. Um, so now I've got three pieces all rounded off like so. Um, they would be roughly 25 centimeters um, in length. Um, the bigger the person, the longer you would want to make those. I think this will be about right for Tom. Um, <clears throat> other piece of equipment that I've got, along with my tape and my sharp scissors, um, a pillow is quite useful because what we're going to try and do is to get Tom's um, shoulder up into a more elevated position, but we, if possible, we'd like, him, we'd like to achieve that without too much muscle work going on. So what I can do is sit like so with a folded pillow on my knee, Tom's elbow resting on that pillow. And then if you just lean your whole body towards me a little bit, Tom, the more he leans, the more that shoulder just elevates and he can be quite relaxed as he does it. Anytime you're using K-tape, you want to remove just from one end and apply so in this case, I'm just applying it roughly to halfway between shoulder and elbow on the outside of the arm. And the first you know, couple of centimeters, I'm applying that with no tension because I don't want to irritate the skin too much. And then make sure that you're happy with the position, the elevation, apply moderate stretch to the tape. If you're not sure how much stretch, <clears throat> you know, you can say, well, that's 0%, that's 100%. You want to back off maybe to 75% stretch. So moderate stretch all the way up towards um, the, the base of the neck um, or a bit below that between the shoulder blades. The last couple of centimeters of tape, you also want to just lay on with no particular tension. We'll get our second one. We're gonna do a slightly different angle. Try and get some support coming different angles around the shoulder. Before I put any tension on it, I want to check Tom's position, check the shoulder elevation. I'm going to go a little bit more anterior, a little bit more towards the front of the shoulder and angling over the back like so. And then the last one, I'll do a bit more posterior, a bit more towards the back. No tension at the start, moderate tension through the tape and then no tension at the end. Now, we're going to test that out and see. 
And keep in mind, all we're looking for here is a feeling of slight elevation, slight tension. It shouldn't be aggressive, shouldn't be severe. Um, so, you know, how's that feel, Tom? Yeah, supportive. Yep, that, that's what you want, just to feel like it's supportive. Um, there are, some, there are some ways you can, um, you know, you can always just add more layers um, and, and just repeat over the top if necessary, if, if they, you just want to try getting a little bit more. Or another um, taping addition, which can be quite helpful, would be to cut a slightly longer tape, more like 35 to 40 centimetres um, for an arm the size of Tom's. Check out those muscles. Round off the corners. And instead of using um, the pillow and the, um, the arm elevation, I'm actually going to get Tom to put his hand up in like a stop sign position, about like there. I'm just, you can just take the weight of it a little bit so he's not working too hard. Now, if we're not careful, this can be quite an aggressive taping technique because as he puts his arm down again, the, t the tension is going to be taken up by the tape. So I'm going to start a little bit more towards the front of the arm like so. I'm going to be a bit more gentle with the tension, more like 50% rather than 75 and angling across uh, probably a little bit lower down um, the scapula there. And now as you drop your arm down again, Tom, yeah, you can, you can see it's pulling a little bit on the skin there. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't look like it's too aggressive. Um, and it just gives that slight extra elevation. Um, if you're noticing that it's pulling too much around the front there, sometimes just repeating a second one, just a little bit more over, um, over that part there, just spreads the load a little bit more evenly. And there we are. Hopefully Tom will feel like there's a little bit of relief. Um, it can often give immediate relief to some of that radial nerve pain. Um, it means that they can, you know, your patient can move a bit further um, before they irritate the pain and hopefully function at a higher level without the flare-ups. Cheers. Thanks for watching another Flex.Physio video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the button below, and you'll get all of our latest updates as they come out. Or you can go to Flex.Physio to check out our website for more information. See you later.